So let's have a quick recap of turn one of my solo play with this game. The first chip that we uh, were allowed to select or, or, or um, predetermined that it was going to go first, we used Hiro, and he started out here. Sailed down to uh, Masada and unloaded. Roll for scatter, unloaded, failed his initiative roll, <laughs> continuation roll, I should say, and ended his turn here. Uh, the next chip that was pulled was the augury chip, which didn't make a difference. Then one after that was the doom veer, in which uh, we moved uh, some ships. We attempted to move into here. They were intercepted, and that uh, failed. That interception failed, so the Navy moved into the ocean hex here. Uh, <clears throat> then we had a siege attrition, which didn't count. Um, then the proconsul, uh, for the consular, the proconsul was uh, pulled. And, uh, well, that probably actually should have been a consul chip, now that I think about it. But the consulship was pulled and we crossed the straits. We uh, first received permission uh, to exit the region from Brutium. And uh, then we uh, avoided the interception and rolled to continue after we landed and elected not to move into Masana and then decided to continue from there, right? So we, uh, we then moved from here over to Agrigentum and the Carthage and Syracusan armies elected not to try and intercept that movement primarily because the risk there was fairly high that uh, if the if the uh, the battle tactics rolls turned out the wrong way it would be a significant disadvantage to the Carthaginian forces given how strong uh, the first consular army was. So they elected not to uh, do that. Uh, the consul this first consular army ended up in Agrigentum, rolled to continue and was successful in doing that and placed the city under siege. We put the militia uh, counters in the hex. It has an ids of three, uh, intrinsic, intrinsic defense strength of three or internal, whatever it is. Uh, then uh, Hanno got a chance to move down well, maybe he already moved. That's right. Hanno hadn't moved, so the uh, that's why the Carthaginian, the uh, Syracusan forces didn't intercept. Although, if they had have got lucky, they could have really put a whooping on uh, consular army number one. But I wasn't feeling lucky based on how I, how I was rolling. So anyway, Hanno Hamilcar moves down. Uh, he tries to continue, fails to do so. Didn't even get uh, engaged in the siege, although he is in the hex. Uh, well, there is no siege. No one's laid siege to the city yet. That's the problem. Uh, so uh, there you go. So no, no SP loss for attrition. And that then uh, moved us to the Roman. Uh, well, we did some sailing around BS. Um, the uh, second Carthaginian, Carthaginian, the second consular army all the way up north uh, failed its permission roll and so could not leave uh, its province and is stuck uh, way up north in uh, southern Etria, I think it is. And then we then did the port returns, and uh, lo and behold, I believe that uh, this uh, Lepara navy was sunk. I rolled a four, and, uh, and we're going to add 10 to that die roll, I believe. So uh, it was four hexes that made it 14, so... Uh, I lose the Admiral as well, so the Admiral is dead. So that's a bit of a blow. And uh, now we're on to 363. You have seen, uh, well, you will see the elections. Uh, I've walked through those in a fair amount of detail in two or three videos just to try and sum uh, it up for you. And then we'll carry on now. We're going to put these chits in the cup and we're going to start uh, 263. Talk to you soon.